is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and we're heading to Narshadal for episode 8 of The Smuggler in the Blind. I need to get this up because we need to speak to Risha on my show. I don't know why I didn't do it automatically. It normally does it automatically. But, eh, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that, I I guess. Yay. Um, saves me the trouble of having to, you know, bring the thing back up so that I can get the chat wheel. Oh, no, it's in the blind, isn't it? Well, the subtitles, anyway. I love Narshada. This is the place you get. Oh, it's not up. Damn it. I love Narshada. This is the place you get everything you never knew you wanted. The only laws are the ones people make with bribes or blasters. It's good to be home again. There's no government here at all? Who needs a government when you can have a hut cartel controlling everything? So, a government. There's a hut here named Druga who has a prototype starship engine. We need it to find Noctrayan's fortune. Druga and I made a deal. He'll trade the starship engine for that caged beast. How can that slobbering creature be worth a ship engine? It's the last male Shanjaru in the galaxy. The species is pretty much extinct. That makes it valuable. Oh yes, he has the female Ruga's version as well. a giant moving party on his pleasure barge. It stops periodically at different locations. Right now, it's on the promenade. I sent Druga several messages, but he never replied. You'll have to make contact the old-fashioned way. I'll teach that hut a lesson in manners. Rich people can afford to be rude, and Druga's as rich as they come. Before you go, one more thing. I know there's a price on your head from Rogan the Butcher over some business on Ord Mantel. Word on the Holonet is, Rogan's personal bounty hunter is here on Narshada. His name's Zank Helrot. Watch out for him. Who told you about the price on my head? I ran a background check on you before we left Coruscant. A girl can't be too careful. The sooner we finish our business with Druga, the sooner we can be someplace Zank Helrot isn't. Have fun at the party. Anyway, Harlow, are you assuming that Skarvik didn't tell her anything? Anything that happened with me? At all? You, you're, you're just going to assume that, are you? Okay, why is my internet so low? 270 milliseconds. Ooh. Well, I'll have to bear with it. My internet is playing up. I'm pleased to know I remain the most advanced steward droid in the galaxy. If that ever changes, I shall recommend a replacement. Can you recommend me one now? Why are you looking? Why are you looking in that direction? What's what's over there? Is there a ghost over there? Or do you just sort, sort of go? Oh, you follow. Oh, you follow me. Alright, I. Oh. <laughs> Stop following me, C2. Ooh, that looks pretty with that ship. I like that. That looks gorgeous. Although you know, this looks gorgeous no matter what. Why won't they do it for every single planet? Oh. There's that invisible wall again. Hold on. Oh no, it's. Oh no, it's not an invisible wall. My internet's just screwing up. That's all. Yay! Let me through. Let me through. God damn you, internet. Let me <laughs> through. Don't go up. Go down. Well, my internet's about to crash, which is great news. Absolutely great news. So, should we just stick around chatting with these guys for a minute? Oh, well, we can't get off my mount. So, I have to just chat with you inside the mount, yeah? So, how's your day, uh, Valen, Sauna, Ravenheart, Knight of the Republic? Yeah, you're good? And Valen, Sauna's uh, companion, which is which is Kira. Hi, hi Kira. How you doing? Oh, and the droid as well. Well, I can't click on the droid. But, would you mean? How are you? It's going higher and higher. Sheesh. Just waiting for it to crash now. Anytime you're willing to crash. Anytime. It's still going. It's still going. Why hasn't it crashed yet? Place your bets on how high you think it'll go before it crashes. You reckon it'll be 120? 130? 140? Place your bets in the comments now. Oh, I can go a little bit further. Oh, no. Okay, that's... Can't go any further. Well, it's at 147 right now. 148, 149... 150, 151, still going. Once it reaches 200,000 milliseconds, I'll be 200 seconds behind the server. So I'll be 3 minutes and 20 seconds behind the server. Great. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Um, and I will go and sort the internet out. Okay, and I'm back. Gotta love my internet provider. I received this uh, message from Agent Saganti. Remember the guy who was kind of tailing me on Terrace and uh, was going after Agent Thorn? Well, I 
I was never fooled, Captain. Not once. Your diplomatic immunity was obviously forged, even if I couldn't prove it. Without that document, rest assured, I would have seized and searched your vessel. I know I would have found enough contraband terrorist artifacts to put you away for a good long while. As for Thorn, she managed to escape Taris. Sorry, I need to say it in the way he does. Taris! To escape Taris! On a suspiciously quick schedule. But you already knew that, didn't you? Don't think for a second you've gotten away with anything. I know you're kind. Someday you'll make a mistake. And I didn't read what the rest of it said. Hold on. Someday you'll make a mistake, and I'll be there to see it. Catch you later. Agent Suganti. I have to, like, open it up first because i got a bunch of, uh, like, Oh, bye, bye, bye credits. Um, emails, which I need to kind of get rid of. Um, and I didn't want you to see. You've surveyed the entire map of Nashadar. Hooray. Where are we going? This way. Um, I really hate the Nashadar. I hate the Nashadar thing because it's just so confusing where I've got to go. Um, but hey ho, I've got a drink. It's a cold drink. It's a it's a weird sort of drink. I don't. If you live in the UK, I don't know if you've ever heard of Purdy's. It's like a. It's just. It's not exactly. The, well, it is the size of a can, um, 330 mils. But it's like a multivitamin fruit drink. It's kind of weird. It kind of. It kind of feels like, like alcohol, but it's not. It's a non-alcoholic drink, but it kind of tastes like it could be alcohol. It could be cider, which is weird. It's weird that it's like cider, like, you know, not apple cider, like, I don't know, the Strongbow Dark Berry cider, but it's not cider. You get me? Yeah, that made no sense, did it? <sighs> wait, where am I going? You drew on the problem. Have I got to, but, wait, who, where? Where, where am I going? Where am I going? Wait, hold on. This is the pleasure barge. So, is he not on here? No? I mean, there's Crystal, but that's, um... That's one of my Sith Warrior companion stories. Oh, wait, he's actually in the promenade. Okay, oh, this is the lower promenade. Is he upstairs? Betcha he's upstairs. Maybe that's him. Maybe that's him, right there. He's just made of gold, and he's huge. Huge. Oh, I've got to go through here. Um... No, apparently, maybe I, wait, why is it telling me I need to go downstairs when I really don't? By the way, you really need to out your mapping on Nashville, I'll change it for the better because it's so confusing sometimes, it really doesn't know where it's going, it really doesn't, we're going through here, uh, Druga, 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 oh, go Zub, go Zub. Drug of the Hutt is insane! Absolutely mad! What kind of lunatic takes his party into the Nikto Center? I stepped onto his pleasure bar for one moment to conduct a simple financial transaction, and now I can't rejoin his party. You can always walk there. I value my life too much to risk it among those thieves and murderers in the Nikto Sector. I'll just wait here. Blast Druga! Situation is like navigating an asteroid field. You get a better odds of surviving the asteroid field. If you're going to chase the deranged Hutt's party, I suggest you settle your affairs first. Blast a Druga. I never even got a drink. Oh, what a shame. Well, he gave me some credits. Hooray. Don't know why he gave me some credits, but okay. I need to reset the, um, the, the, yeah, the UI because that thing's going to stay there otherwise. The game freezes when you do it. Um, but it'll come back up in a second. There we go, and now that's gone. I don't know why it has its own little loading bar, but... Oh, well. Whether that's its own loading bar, I have no idea. Um, ooh, what does that say? Somebody tell me what that says! I don't know. I don't speak, um, Orabesh. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Well, I mean, I said I was gonna learn Orabesh a long time ago, but I gave up. Because... Eh. Tell you one language I am sort of keen to learn now. ASL. No, not age, sex, location. We're not back in MSN days. Um, like, sign language? Like, I'm, well, it's American sign language, but, you know, just sign language, basically. I know one word so far. I know the word for dolphin. You just sort of curve your right hand into, like, little, I don't know, half moon. And then you just sort of have it in front of you, like, like so the moon is pointing downwards. Then go up one. And then up again, and that's the word for dolphin. Yeah, excited.
exciting! I learned that from the actual website. Because they have like a word a day thing. Maybe that's how <laughs> maybe that's how I'll learn. Oh my god, seriously? All the way over there. Oh, people are dead. Why don't you guys get on a mount? It'll be incredibly easier rather than walking. You gonna go on a mount? Have I sort of made you think, oh should I should get on a mount? No? Just gonna stand there. Alright, fine. Hi doctor! I hear a holocron. It's up there. But if I were to get to it, I would need to wait like a year for um, the thing to go around. Where is it? Where's the actual uh, moving thing? Hmm. I don't actually know. Oh, it's somewhere around. Wait. Nope, it's somewhere around here, but I can't be bothered. I've already got that holocron anyway, so I don't need to get it again because of legacy. I still need to get all the holocrons, actually. Oh, no. Go away. Go. Well, screw you to hell. Ow, you slapped me in the face. How bloody dare you. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'd say kick you in the balls, but I don't have to kick you in the balls ability anymore. Why have I got that ability down twice? Oh, I got that ability, though. Well, you can go away. I don't need you twice. Why are there twice? I have no idea. Oh, shush. Just die already. Hmm. I'm going to have to go past some enemies no matter what. And it might as well be these guys. Because if I go past him, they're going to see me anyway. If I go past them, well, he's... Oh, I probably could just... Oh, could, oh no, he's a bit powerful. Um, so, yeah, I might as well go straight down the centre, to be honest. Oh, I can drop this again. Yay! Oh, for God's sake, I got seen anyway. Oh, my God! On the plus side, I'll reach level 18. Actually, excuse me, I'll kill you first and I'll reach level 18. Then I'll be a bit more powerful killing him. Woohoohoohoo! Level 18. Right, let's kill you now because I'm a bit more powerful. There we go. Tell you what, I haven't got. I haven't got an XP boost up. I should probably have one of those up. Uh, let's just replenish my buffs. And away we go. Finally. Oh, you kid. No, I'm going. No. Oh, it's a phase. Right, does anybody else want to kill me? Am I done with people wanting to kill me for the moment? Um, yes. There. Better? Just all Druga's guests now. Fine. She whiz. I do like this though. It's like a little rainbow bridge. That's actually quite pretty. I do like that. I like it very much. Um, are we on the barge now or uh oh we need to go through the little casino before we get on the barge. Okay. Druga? Hello Druga! Howdy! Hold you hut slaying scum. The cartel demands that you pay for your crimes. No words, Bone Lizard. Just fight. Listen to the Wookiee boast of his murders. This monster has slaughtered entire hut clans, but his reign of terror ends. Before he dies, he will know true fear. We Kalish warriors swear it by our blood. That Wookiee's not afraid of you, pal. Keep back, you idiot. That beast will tear your head off, just like he did to Nordro the Fearless. His claws are stained with the entrails of many. His bloodlust can't be satisfied. Don't fear. You're not my enemy. Warriors! Kill these scum! Oh, I got, oh I'm gonna help, am I? Alright. Um, I mean, I could just sort of leave you to it. I mean, you're not gonna die, but hey, let's watch the uh, carnage of uh, just all these people. Oh! I thought it was gonna take a lot longer. Okay. Whoa, uh, Captain. Don't get so close. Things liable to tear your arms off and beat you to death with them. What, are you from the future? Have you seen it happen to, uh, C-3PO? I'm not afraid of anybody. Didn't know you had a death wish. That was a good fight. Baldar honors you. You gonna be alright? I fought bone lizards before. Their smell is worse than their bite. Wookie! Get back into your cage! I'll call you again when I want you. I'm going now. Goodbye! Aww. Oh, you actually are in a cage. Oh. Although, are these cages big enough for me to fit through? Um, I mean, there there were cages big enough for me to fit through um, on um, Hutter uh, with my Imperial Agent or my uh, Bounty Hunter, but you know. What have you done, fool? You've ruined everything. The Wookiee fights alone, or there's no drama. I don't believe in unfair fights. Did I ask what you believe? This is my party, idiot. I decide what is fair. I paid for the best Kalish warriors on Nashadan to face my adorable pet Wookie. 
This colossal battle was to whet my appetite, and I am unsatisfied. What do you have to say for yourself? Life's full of disappointments, Roly Poly. <laughs> How dare you insult me! I would feed you to my gun dog, but I'm starving it for a special occasion. A shame that fight ended so quickly. Those Kalish were better actors than warriors. I'm glad. Okay. And you, Spacer, I don't know why you've come. I know why you've come. You wasted your time. I don't need your beasts anymore. You made a deal, Druga. No, I made an offer, and now I take back that offer. I only wanted your male son Sanjaro to complete the set, but thieves stole my female Sanjaro. If I can't have a complete set, I don't want the male you brought. Go away! I'll go, after I bury my blaster in your flabby head. Ha! It takes more than blasts to kill a hut. If you have more words, send them to my servant Garam. Maybe he'll take pity and throw you some scraps. Alright. Hey, Garam! We overheard your conversation with the great feast master. That God speak can English. Be most fickle. You have our deepest sympathies, we are sure. Oh, we... Is there anything we can do about it? If you seek to conclude your business with Druga, use his fickle nature to your advantage. Returning Druga's female beast would rekindle his interest in yours. Rekindle, eh? You sure about that? We have observed the great feast master in past dealings. Druga is always most captivated by what is easily at hand. Oh, the sound effects are Look gone. here. This holo recording was left by the thieves who stole Druga's female Shunjaru. It may interest you. When will the huts learn that nature's creatures are not for their sick entertainment? So long as innocent beasts are victimized by the decadent slave masters of Nar Shada, we will fight! Freedom for all life! The woman continues like this for another three hours. We use her recording to lull ourselves to sleep at night. <laughs> That's who stole Druga's beast? The woman is a wealthy Republic Senator's daughter. She violently opposes all who abuse wild creatures. She spends her father's wealth hiring mercenaries to fight her war. They maintain a base nearby. Those mercenaries are gonna pay for complicating my life. We admire your affection for violent solutions. Should you discover any useful leads, bring them to us. We will happily assist your search. Garam! Move my pleasure barge! Take our guests someplace interesting! We will dock this pleasure barge at these coordinates. Find us there. Good hunting. Well, what if I take a few days? You might not be there anymore. Oh well. Uh, um, <laughs> eh, let's just go with that. Why not? Again, I need to change my gear. I keep saying that, but I never do. Okay, and here we are in the next sector. And, of course, we've got to go miles. How does a planet, though, get this out of control? I mean, look, you got crashed spaceships. you got fires kindling. you got rubbish everywhere, you got gangs on the street, it's, you know, how, how does a place get this bad? I mean, how many years does it take? My word. Oh, I hate it when the droids have a little cry. Oh, it's so sad. Right, hopefully nobody will see me as I go through the phase. And we're good. Right, go to the eco-terrorist hideout, we're here. So do I kill all the eco-terrorists? I think I do. Oh, a bonus mission! Ah, to kill Tet. Well, you know, I'll probably be doing that anyway. Because I can't skip the. Seriously, did I just miss you? Get, get in the balls before you die. <laughs> uh, it's always hilarious when I do that. Whoa! Are they attacking me in time? They're attacking me in sync. That is absolutely. What is going on with all my abilities? They're just being shot upwards. Alright, fine. Hey guys, watch this guy. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. Think I'm done. Oh, wait, wait, damn, I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, no, I'm done. Oh, damn, no, Frodo, I'm still not done. Okay, yes, yes, and uh, now I'm done. Oh, nope, not yet. That's all he does is go up and down and up and down, and now he's gonna go up, and then he'll stay down forever. Oh, speak to Ty. Well, I need to kill the eco-terrorists first. Um, which I shall do, because that's all I need for the bonus mission! Yay! 
give me my experience, please. Give me my experience. Thank you. Go. Cool. Oh, I killed the droid pretty quickly. You killed those men. What kind of monster are you? Well, I'm actually human, but uh, we're like, you know, we're all monsters inside, aren't we? Hey, those mercenaries shot at me first. Liar. Sure, justify your slaughter. That's what your type always does. The Shanjaru is gone, and I'll never tell you where Momi took it. I'm ready to die for my cause. Are you? I thought you were going to say, Mommy. <laughs> you picked the wrong side, and now you're paying for it. Uh-oh. Of course it's not going to like that. Blast it, Captain. I hope nobody saw that. I didn't expect that to be a dark side option, but hey. That's happened. And Corso didn't like that, but oh well. Uh, listen to Momi <laughs> and Dale's holo recording. Tirka, I'm leaving you in charge until I return. Leger says there's a way to smuggle the Shanjaro off-world. We'll return the poor creature to the wild where it belongs and show those scum they can't exploit nature on our watch. I'll return from Leger's as soon as I can. Freedom for all life! Ah, at least we got a name. Maybe that blue-headed fella at Druga's knows this Leger. That blue-headed fella has a name, Corso. And if he didn't talk all strange, I might know what it is. People here need to work on their communication. Uh, how hello? Since when were you polite? Seriously, man. Seriously. Come on, explore this area and I should get to level 19. Supposedly. There we go. Um, oh, I haven't checked if I've got any new abilities. Oh. Oh, I do have... I was going to say, where's my, uh... Where's my hut? Uh, distraction. Interrupt the target. Cool. Uh, flow shot. Hot fires. High impact. Uh, okay. Better. Cool. Um, not really, Corso, but yeah, let's pretend I'm better. Cool. Um, where are we going now? <sighs> Miles away. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, just run, Charlie. Just run and hope that they'll uh, evade. And that droid won't see you either. Damn it, the droid's seen you too! Evade, evade, evade! Damn it. I need to kill the droid. Well, I mean, I got them, got most of them to evade anyway. Whoa! Oh god, I'm nearly dead! Oh dear! Um, Corso, yeah, because I had you on passive. My word, that could have been very bad. Whew! That was a close call. Anyway, let's go speak to Garum. I suppose the bouncers aren't checking who I am. They're just letting me through. Just letting me through. Alright, fine. You're very crap security. What will fix me? Oh, okay, whatever. Of all the places, though. This is where you stopped? Not exactly pleasurable, if I do say so myself. It's very mechanical and... Oof. No, wouldn't, wouldn't have stopped here out of all the... Well, then again, you're in Nashadar. You know, this is as pleasure as it's gonna, pleasurable as it's gonna get. So, Garam, hello. We are so pleased to see you alive. How oh, goes you the know. search? Wow. The woman who stole Druga's beast took it to someone named Laje. Ever heard of him? Garam, the 20th course hasn't arrived, and the Wookiee already slew my collar cord. A giant bug smelled bad, it annoyed me. Stupid Wookiee, even after draining half of his blood and taking all his weapons, he is still too powerful. You are one messed up individual. I demand drama for my guests. Where is the excitement in 10 second duels? The hut doesn't understand fighting. Do not despair, O oh great feast master. We will find you suitable entertainment. Druga must be more gentle. He forgets the Wookiee is collateral. When the gambler repays his debt, he will expect his Wookiee returned intact. Why is that? The gambler won the Wookiee playing Sabak. Forget that beast, hmm? Your revelation is more interesting. The senator's daughter has made a critical error trusting Lage. He is no friend to her. Before the Empire imprisoned Lage in Shadowtown, we purchased some of his beast experiments for Druga's pleasure. Hmm. Ghastly abominations. This guy must be really evil to get imprisoned on Nar Shadda. He was considered too depraved, even for the Empire. That should tell you something. If Lage has Druga's beast, it may already be too late. Shadowtown is extraordinarily dangerous, but you must hurry. Garam! I tire this sector! Move my pleasure barge! If you find Druga's Shanjaru, come to these coordinates. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why does the sound effects disappear when I choose an option? And hello. The name's Zank Helrot, Captain. 
I'm Rogue and the Butcher's personal bounty hunter. Oh, hello. Is that a man or a hover tank? I think both. You like my armor? I polished it for this occasion. Am I supposed to be impressed by you, scum sucker? Look, there's no reason we can't be civil. Rogan says I can bring you back in pieces. Hope you don't mind. I've got some new weapons to test. Leave my friend alone, metal man! Half dead Wookiee for a sidekick. Guess beggars can't be choosers. Odar, I want you to sit this one out. Too bad. I need a new Wookiee pelt. Okay. Uh, Muzzy Zero moment. Why the hell not? Bowda! What did I say? I said you're setting this one out. I didn't say you're going to help. Damn it, Bowda! Why have you got to ruin everything? Well, I guess I kind of appreciate the help. Sort of. Ish. And we'll take this, and I'll take, um... Actually, I'll take that. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? I mean, I've got enough common data crystals for when I get, uh, when I eventually upgrade my armor. But we'll leave it here for now. So next time, we need to go speak to Laje. So thank you very much for watching, la ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.